Today, just because I'm in pain and I'm on the wheelchair, I work for children. Being the head of CSR for a company, we conduct medical camps in far-flung areas of Pakistan where so many kids die because they don't have medical facilities. And I personally believe just because they cannot afford to live doesn't mean we let them die. So we give them money, we give them medical treatment, we try to heal their wounds, physical and emotional. And I also work for the beautiful people. We call them third gender, the transgender community of Pakistan. You know what connects me with them? All my imperfections. When I go and I hug them, they never judge me. And this very good friend of mine, her name is Bijli. Bijli means electricity. <laughs> she calls herself electricity. And I said, are you electricity? She says, no, I'm lightning. I'm as strong as lightning. <laughs> because, we have, because we have very bad power outage, so she doesn't want me to call her electricity. So she says, I am very strong. I'm thunder, I'm lightning. She came to me, and the first time I hugged her, she said, you are just like me. And I said, yes, I am like you. Because to people, we are so imperfect. So how beautiful these imperfections are, that because of these imperfections, you can connect with people. Then why are we all running after being perfect? What's the point? Every time I go in public, I always smile. It's always a big toothy smile on my face. And people ask me, don't you get tired of smiling all the time? What's the secret? I always say one thing, that I have stopped worrying about the things that I have lost, the people that I have lost. Things and people who were meant to be with me are with me. And sometimes, somebody's absence makes you a better person. Cherish their absence. It's always, it's always a blessing in disguise. I always say that people are so lucky they don't even realize, you must be thinking, Okay, you're lucky in what sense? Well, the breath that you just took was a blessing. Embrace it. There are so many people in the world who are dreaming to live a life that you are living right now. You have no idea. Embrace each and every breath that you are taking. Celebrate your life. Live it. Don't die before your death. We all die. We live this one routine of a day for 75 years and we call it life. No, that's not life. If you're still thinking why you have been sent here, if you're still juggling with the concept of why you were here, you haven't lived yet. You work hard, you make money, you do it for yourself. That's not life. You go out, you seek for people who need your help, you make their lives better. You become that sponge which can absorb all the negativity and you become that person who can emit beautiful positive vibes. And when you realize that you have changed someone's life and because of you, this person didn't give up. That is the day when you live. We were talking about gratitude, why I smile all the time. I cry all night when nobody sees me because I'm a human and I have to keep the balance. And I smile all day because I know that if I will smile, I can make people smile. That keeps me going. Be grateful for what you have and you will always, always end up having more. But if you'll cry and if you'll crib for the little things that you don't have or the things that you have lost, you will never ever have enough. Sometimes we are too busy thinking about the things that we don't have that we forget to cherish the blessings that we have. I'm not saying that I'm not healthy and that makes me unlucky. But yes, it is hard. It is hard when I say that I cannot walk. It is hard to say when I wear this bag, it hurts. But I have to keep going because never giving up is the way to live, always. So I'll end my talk on a very short note.
Live your life fully. Accept yourself the way you are. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to yourself. I'll repeat, be kind to yourself and only then you can be kind to others. Love yourself and spread that love. Life will be hard, there will be turmoils, there will be trials, but that will only make you stronger. Never give up. The real happiness doesn't lie in money or success or fame. I have this all, I never wanted this. Real happiness lies in gratitude. So be grateful, be alive, and live every moment. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you.